if you're struggling with like growing your social media accounts if you're struggling to share or repurpose your videos across your all your social media platforms and you don't even know how your content is doing if it's, you're using the right strategies the right um hashtags and everything stay tuned and let's just get to it so hi there my name is talia moreno talia mompreneur and i'm here because i see a lot of people struggle when they repurpose their content or they just ran out of ideas of content or strategies that you can use across all the platforms and one of the biggest mistakes people do is they focus on all platforms you can repurpose your videos but you should focus on at least one or two apps so if you have a tiktok you have um instagram facebook and youtube which are like the main ones i will focus with at least two of them so if you have instagram if instagram is one that you like the most and you see more engagement and you see people that actually follow you engaging with you they actually like you know get with you you should focus on that and um if you want to focus like on tiktok you know just keep the trends with the sounds like whatever platform work for you that work for you the most that's what you should focus on most of your time okay so at least if you have a tiktok if you have um a facebook that is really like like you get people to engage with you you get really really rude like insights and reaction from people people actually like purchasing from you or just engaging with you in general that's what the apps that you should focus the most okay so for me my most like engaging um, apps are um, tiktok and instagram so i focus on creating content that can match both of the um, apps um, but for everybody when you do Instagram right now most of the videos that really like go viral or get more engagement are short videos that are like five to eight seconds okay so it's very simple to um, just do trending sounds and then things that you can like mash or make it related to your business okay or whatever you're doing so if you are looking if you are like somebody that is working in digital marketing you can relate things to that um, if you have a health and wellness business you can relate it to that simple as that just relate it to your niche and your audience and you should be good but like I said you should focus on short videos that are from 5 to 8 seconds um, doing carousels are a big big thing you can do tips you can do like sharing some information that is like in different slices you can do that it's very good it create engagement people can save it you know just follow you and keep track of it is very good the third thing on instagram is the stories stories is where you do most of your sellings and you create things that you can engage with people you can ask questions you can do polls you can um uh, just share about an opportunity and just put your link you can ask questions like i said it's so many things that you can do in your stories and that's what you should focus to do most of your selling for example for the reels reels are more so people can know you so people know who you are what you do etc um, so that's the main thing for ig okay at least if um for me for tiktok i do videos that are gonna be more engaging or people can relate to my content but they're a little longer i do videos from 7 to 30 seconds and i do most of my talking videos like if i'm talking for more than 30 to 45 seconds i do that mostly for tiktok and then i just use those videos and i repurpose it on my youtube channel um and from my ig i have it connected to my facebook so if i, I have two ig accounts so those two g accounts when i create the content one goes to a facebook page and one goes to my regular facebook account so i make sure that i just go there so i don't gotta like go to facebook and post the video and do a caption no it just goes straight to my account okay so that's like a time relief thing so if you want to do it do it i totally recommend it but that's what it is if facebook were for you do facebook facebook is more like you create content that you can share things that people can like if you have an image that they can 
you know engage with the image even if it's funny if it's showing uh, in, like an educational um, information or just you know sharing something um, and Facebook groups um, Facebook is very very big on Facebook groups so you can have different groups that you can share your content you can talk about your business uh, etc you know so that's why if, if that worked for you then you should do it like I said you do the most of your for your content that work for you on the platform that you feel more comfortable don't try to focus on everything because you're gonna get overwhelmed with it I used to just try to do everything at once and it was just putting me more her father the one i wanted to do with my business so that's why it's like okay i need to sit down see where i do the best with my content where i get more people where do i get more leads and stuff like that and that's what you should do it i know ladies they are very successful on facebook and they even created their own training and digital products and stuff like that for facebook because that's where they get most of their customers more of their sales leads and they've been growing super good um and they get a lot of engagement from there but if you're somebody that you can master instagram then you should focus that i even have a digital product that helped me because instagram is very uh connected with threads so if you know threads this is something that you can use to grow um, both accounts your instagram and your threads like even with that i made most of my sales with instagram and threads with my digital products my courses you know um my other opportunities i've been getting all my leads and like all of that through instagram and threads so that's what I should I focus more now, okay? And I keep trying to grow my accounts um, every single time, just trying to match the channels, the trending stuff, just check the algorithm, see what is doing the best. So I try to like build my strategies um, based on that, okay? And with TikTok, it's the same. I just repurpose my videos and I try to go live. I go live most on TikTok. Um, but like I said, it's just doing whatever is best for you. If you work on that platform, then just, just do it, okay? With YouTube, YouTube is just like the best out there because you can just go into your like a private browser and you can just search what people are looking for and you can start creating videos like even now they have the option that you can have short video up to three minutes okay so you can start posting videos very quick showing how to's tips talking about your business you know very educational inspirational stuff motivational whatever it is you can do it in there and even on long videos anything that is past one minute is consider a long video as well so if you want to talk about something for five minutes whatever you're passionate about from your business for whatever you do and you feel like you can talk about that topic for hours that's what you should focus on youtube search what people are looking for and relate that into your business so if people are looking how they can earn money on on apps how they can earn money in digital marketing as a beginner um, or how they can start making money without a big investment, so etc. Like it's so much that you can do if you are a master in Canva and things like that, and you and you have skills and knowledge about something, make a video out of that and post it. Don't think about it. Don't make it too fancy. Don't worry about the background. Or if you have all the lighting and all, the, you know, just post the video because you never know who's gonna reach out to your video, who's gonna see your video, and then when I'm like, I like what she's saying let me see what she got and you know you always can do this around your schedule like i always tell people social media is the main thing that you focus when you want to monetize it because it's so many ways that you can monetize your social media platform so many ways that you can use your social media platforms to grow your business so always search and do your research on what can help you and your business get where you need it to get so you can achieve your goals so you can get more income streams and stuff like that so do that if you want more information i'm gonna have a, a few google docs that you can download for free that is gonna help you like establish like what you should focus the most and you know questions that can help you like solve whatever problem you're going through in your social media platform with your niche 
like if, if you're having trouble with your target audience etc with content everything is gonna be on those google docs so go ahead and click the description box and the links are gonna be there for you to grab it if you're interested of the opportunity that i offer um to earn and have multiple income streams the link is gonna be below as well and don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms you know asking any questions just stay tuned with me during my journey of growing in life in, in my you know in my business everything um but if you have any questions feel free to drop it in the comments like i said i'm gonna keep coming with more videos that can help you uh, not only understand your social media platform how you can make money online anything that you need to motivate yourself tips and tricks with like tools um like editing video tools canva whatever it is i'm gonna come back with more videos to help you in everything okay so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye